North Korea has threatened the U.S. with a horrible nuclear strike and miserable and final ruin, saying that it is ready to destroy the enemy's bases with a preemptive strike if they show any slight sign of provocation. The DPRK, North Korea which towered as the most powerful nuclear weapons state despite the unprecedented difficulties and trials, is not afraid of sanctions, pressure and war, the regime said, as cited by North Korea's state-owned KCNA agency. Now Pyongyang is ready to destroy the enemy's bases with its resolute and preemptive strike if they display any slight sign of provocation. In case the U.S. opts for confrontation and war. It will meet a horrible nuclear strike and miserable and final ruin, North Korea said. Once again the North slammed the U.S. for calling for a new round of reckless and ridiculous sanctions on the country. The DPRK has had access to everything and gained everything it could do despite the harshest sanctions and blockade by the hostile forces, and it is a daydream to calculate that the DPRK can be shaken to change its attitude in face of the new sanctions, the statement added. In his first address to United Nations, U.S. President Donald Trump threatened Pyongyang with total destruction if it attacks the U.S. or its allies. If forced to defend itself and its allies, the U.S. will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea, Trump said, calling North Korean leader Kim Jong-un a rocket man on a suicide mission. The world is watching closely the rhetorical exchange between North Korea and the U.S. The situation deteriorated further after Pyongyang claimed to have conducted its sixth nuclear test September 3. Later in September, North Korea fired a ballistic missile which passed through Japan's airspace near Hokkaido. Trump has repeatedly vowed a military response to North Korea, on one occasion saying that Washington may use the full range of capabilities at its disposal and might resort to using its nuclear arsenal against North Korea. The United Nations Security Council on September 11 unanimously approved a new resolution, banning Pyongyang's textile exports and capping its oil imports. North Korea in turn vowed to increase its military strength, saying that it was ready to strike in case of the slightest provocation. Russia and China attempt to ease tensions between Washington and Pyongyang, calling for dialogue. Moscow and Beijing have long been pushing for a double freeze plan in which North Korea suspends its nuclear and ballistic missile tests in exchange for help in joint U.S.-South Korea military exercises. However, the U.S. rejected the plan and continues to conduct drills with South Korea. On Tuesday U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis said that Washington and Seoul had discussed the option of putting nuclear weapons on the Korean peninsula. Trump issued his strongest warning yet to North Korea at his first address to the U.N. General Assembly, referring to the regime's leader as rocket man. He emphasized the rogue state's nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles as a threat to the entire world and warned Washington will totally destroy Pyongyang if it had to. Park Jun shares with us his unfiltered remarks. Leaders from 193 member states gathered at the UN's New York headquarters to address several ongoing international crises, including the Rohingya crisis, the civil war in Syria, climate change, and of course, North Korea's continual nuclear and missile provocations. The highlight was, as expected, U.S. President Donald Trump's keynote speech at his first appearance at a General Assembly session since his inauguration in January. In a wide-ranging speech where he hit out at Iran and Venezuela, President Trump reserved his sternest words for the leadership in Pyongyang. He said that, if necessary, the U.S. would totally destroy North Korea to defend itself and its allies. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. The United States is ready, willing and able, but hopefully this will not be necessary. He went on to emphasize the importance of UN member nations working together to isolate the Kim Jong-un regime. President Trump also thanked members of the UN Security Council, specifically China and Russia, for their votes in favor of the toughest ever UN resolution on Pyongyang for its most recent nuclear test. 
Although Pyongyang will have heard President Trump's comments loud and clear, the North Korean diplomats in New York weren't in the room to hear them as the North's U.N. ambassador left his seat prior to Trump's arrival. Following the speech, South Korea's presidential office issued a statement saying it's evident the new U.S. administration sees the North Korean nuclear issue as highly important. The top office also said Trump's remarks confirmed that the strongest possible sanctions are the only way to denuclearize the rogue regime. President Moon Jae-in, who will deliver his speech on Thursday, is expected to focus on North Korea and call for international cooperation to condemn and rein in Pyongyang's provocations. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.